Colombia, cyclists are superstars, heroes adored throughout the country. Here at the National Road Cycling Championships, the competition took place in front of an enthusiastic public. However, far from the adoring crowds behind the scenes, it is a different, less glamorous story. As soon as they cross the finish line, a swarm of chaperones rush in to prevent athletes from going to the bathroom. This is a mandatory step in order to avoid contamination or non-compliance of urine samples. We take either blood or urine samples in this room. Once the sample is collected, the athlete leaves. Unfortunately, the anti-doping controls carried out during competitions are not the most effective when it comes to detecting possible cheating. Some substances are undetectable if injected before race day. This is why the National Anti-Doping Agency focuses on out-of-competition testing. This organization employs 30 doctors spread throughout the country to test for cheaters. Muy bueno. We followed Dr. Acosta on a home visit, where he took a urinary sample from a cyclist. These controls are always unannounced. Hola, mucho gusto. Mario Acosta, ¿cómo está? Ministerio del Deporte. Vengo un control antidopaje. Sí, ¿qué hay que hacer? Es una muestra de orina. Entonces, eh, si me permites para poder seguir y poder hacer el proceso. ¿Sí? Ah, bueno, muchas gracias. Once the samples are collected, the vials go on a long journey abroad. This is because in 2017, the Bogota Laboratory was suspended by the World Anti-Doping Agency due to failing to comply with international standards. Since then, all doping tests are transferred to certified laboratories in Canada or the United States. We met a cyclist who agreed to testify anonymously. It was during an out-of-competition inspection that this cyclist tested positive. He accuses a team manager of pressuring him into taking some drugs before a race in Colombia. Ya al final de la reunión saca una maleta, dice muchachos ahí es. Eh, yo ya me asesoré bien por médicos, eh, por ciclistas que ya no han usado. Yo, yo al principio dije no. No, porque yo sabía que eso es complicado. The cyclist injects EPO, erythropoietin. This hormone increases the production of red blood cells, which in turn increases the flow of oxygen to the muscles. It is an artificial way to improve endurance. Yo me llevó a mí ayudar a tomar esa decisión a, a último momento. De eso, de que tenía que llevar comida a mi casa, de que tenía que vestir a, a mi familia. A few days later, the cyclist tested positive for controlled substances. Distraught, he contacted his sports manager. The athlete was then banned from competition. Following this verdict, he fell into depression. Joan Robayo is a former cycling trainer. He says getting your hands on banned substances in Colombia is quite easy. He is the only coach in Colombia to have been sanctioned for administering or attempting to administer a controlled substance or doping product to a cyclist. On camera, he assures us that his drug trafficking is in the past. However, according to him, doping remains widespread in the cycling world. It's a common practice, and it pains me to say it, but it also exists in Spain, France, Italy and anywhere else in the world. It's even worse in Argentina or Chile because there are no anti-doping controls. It's a free-for-all. It's like drug trafficking. You arrest one dealer and there are 10 others who replace him. Between January and September 2022, seven Colombian cyclists were penalized for doping. However, a punishment does not necessarily mean the end of an athlete's career. At least, that's what our cyclist hopes. Hay días que, que salgo a entrenar y me siento bien, otros días que no, que digo que no, 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 no vuelvo y no vuelvo y no quiero volver. Pero ya llego a la casa y al otro día ya tengo ganas de, de volver. Mi objetivo es volver, volver a, a dejar la, la imagen que dejé en mi última carrera, de que los técnicos me digan, valió la espera, ¿no? 
Entonces mi objetivo es volver a llegar al nivel que, que, que llegué a estar en ese tiempo.